Welcome back to Let's Play Planimachia, or at least, you know, some whatever the large name of the thing is. Um, last time we did a lot of dialogue, we ran around town, uh, let's see, what else? And we entered the Great Ruins for the first time, and things went kinda well. We basically went to the back entrance and didn't really learn entirely anything new. Kind of a slow pace episode, or episodes, last couple of times. But we're back, I just didn't even really move, I'm still in the same spot as we were left at. And so we're now at a forker road. I can go north, east, or south. I think I'm gonna go south again, or get into a battle. That's fine. That worked. That's, just, that's fine. I think I'm gonna start getting to the point. If I'm just in the dungeon the entire time, I'm gonna start getting to the point where I'll just start cutting out battles. But we shall see. Okay, so now we're back in the interior. Hmm, looks like we're pretty close. Eh? We're there already? Now, nah, according to the map, there's a pretty ominous sign up ahead. I wonder what this jagged looking symbol is supposed to mean. Maybe there's a trap full of flying cockroaches? Or maybe a spike pit? What about a giant moving wall of cockroaches? Are cockroaches all you can think about when you see this jagged symbol? Can we see this map? Nope. Alright, well, if we're going, if that's the correct way, then I'm gonna go here. And find excavation point! Hopefully I get enough items here that when I go back, I can upgrade some equipment of some sorts. A tarantula, look at that tarantula! And a mega rat. Uh... No. Are you guys weak to flamethrower? Yeah, you are. Can't remember what you're weak to. That. Okay. Wait, but the little effect in for the- This game is really interesting. Sometimes sound effects and effects just won't play, but I guess it is an indie RPG, so I can't expect a whole lot. I appreciate, though, that Kram has yet to ignite himself after using fire attacks so much. I still don't really understand why Rutla just randomly got the burn status on her. Unless the Golden Ethers caused burn, but she had it before... She had it before, though. The Ether attacked me. Boom. Boom. Nice. Ouch. Oh, no, Tanda. Oh, you lived? I'm getting a lot of items, though. I think I came from the north, actually, the interior, so I just need to keep going this way. Oh look, a save point! Wow, I could have just- <laughs> I could have saved and ended the session last time, but well, that's okay. That's okay. That means we can start today with a boss fight. Nice. I meant to save over here, but... What? Oh, there you go. Save here. There we go. Waterfall of the Great Trials. Of Trials, not even the Great Trials. Alright. What's the boss gonna be? Halt, humans! This voice, where is it coming from? Whoa, what the hey? Something's coming out! Hey, part for the course that a guard's gonna come out right before the treasure room. Whether you shall serve as vessels worthy for liberating the planet tree, I shall be the judge of that. Liberating the planet tree? What the heck are you? High ether readings above us, Cram! Alter Fenrir. What? Oh, 
Um, assist, regenerate. Okay. Okay. 90 resist flamethrower. That's okay. Um... Okay. Okay, that's not good. You resist everything. And now you have a status effect. That's wonderful. I think piercing shot did the most damage. Yeah, it did the most. Don't get irritated. I think it's below 10, right? Yeah. Are we out of regen already? Yeah, out of regen already. Doing well, we're about halfway there. Oh, so the over art for that actual over tension over art for that does, um, that's weird actually. Interesting. Let's heal again and then just slash away. I'm curious then, actually, if then... How much this does. Oh, well, that's a start. I'm curious then what this does. Okay or not. That's okay. Stab away. Nice. That was like a crit. Okay. Who am I? Hi, there we go. Nice and easy. Yeah, bosses really hit hard in this game. But thankfully we have a good amount of healing options. And I like that TP re uh, restores very quickly. It's not like you're just having to constantly use items to restore TP. Otherwise that would have been just way too unfair for the player. Caught, I mean, it would have been some- or that or they would have had to... No, that wouldn't have worked either because if everything was based around cost, then you'd have to have like five costs per player or something like that. So I, yeah, I think the way they're doing TP so far is pretty good. And we only have two members also, so that also explains why bosses just really hit hard. So that, I think it works out pretty well. Wow, that was a surprise. I didn't know there were monsters that talked. Veneer should have been a tame monster that doesn't appear in front of humans. Liberating the planet tree. Come on, Cram, let's go. Cram, you're going to be left behind. Huh? Ah. Uh.
The Fenrir we encounter was nothing like they usually are. Huh? Well, yeah, when it comes to monsters, they're all, there's all kinds, right? Normally, Fenrirs have incredibly high intelligence and live in packs. They rarely attack people either. Actually, I've seen Fenrirs come around the Great Ruins. This is the first time I've come across that red one. So what does that mean? Don't know, but considering its level of intelligence, it must have had a damn good reason to attack us. Maybe the planet tree's awakening? Hmm. And away we go. Did this actually heal me? This did actually heal me. Because I remember fight starting this fight off with like 200 HP, but I guess the Fenrir just attacked us. What is this place? This place. Don't tell me this is... Amazing! It really does exist! Cram, how does this thing work? Hey, Cram, tell me! Just give me a minute. I need to figure out what this place is even if this place even does before anything. Ah, uh, that's just too bad. I just had to see you, Cram Levelouche. I really don't didn't want to see you here, you know? But since I've seen you, then I guess I'll have to kill you! Velmut from the Elite Four! For someone of the Elite Four to be tailing me. It seems that Miss Mariella. Mariella was her name, really was keeping tabs on you. Who's that guy? Friend of yours? Does that whack job even look remotely like a friend to you? Me? Friends with this idiotic piece of trash? And going to a sealed off area without an academy permit to dig illegally? Who's the crazy one here? Well, not like I really give a damn. Well, come on, Cram Levalouche. With your Kronos and my Zeus. We're going to fight until I destroy you like the scrap that you are! I'd personally like to refuse his kind invitation. Once he's like this, there's no stopping him till you give him a good beatdown. You've got such unique friends. I'm kind of jealous. Zeus, let's go! This time, I'll twist the life out of you. Oh, he is a friend! Hey, now we're in techno music. What a stark contrast that we had earlier! Okay. Assist. Uh, regen myself. Uh, regen Retla. And then, I don't even know. Okay. Okay, you're not weak to anything. You're weak to fire. That's helpful. No. Uh, I have one more. Did I get another cost? Hell yeah. Uh, Gatling Raid? Piercing Shot? Okay. Uh, let's see what you're to. Okay, so none of you can take that fire damage, but that's a start. Yeah, right, he did get another cost. Solid! Uh, who should I go for here? Okay, go for Felmut first. Yeah, so let's go for him first. And then assist my... Ah, uh, no. I think we'll be fine. Okay. Ah, uh, it's Cram's turn next, right? Maybe not, but let me just heal him just in case. Oh, that was a good call! Oh, that was a really good call. Because Cram is now just out of commission here. Okay, who am I? Uh, okay... Let's do some damage. Live! Ah. Yeah, let's go for Felmut first because he can, uh... Because he can cause those status effects. 
Zeus is just pure damage. Okay, assist, give myself this. Smack away. Yeah, he's almost down. Then we can just focus on Zeus. Velmet is just... Although I guess... There we go, that should take care of him. Now we can focus on you. Are you weak to anything? So not fire. Oh, you're weak to lightning. That's pretty obvious, actually. I can also charge too. That's interesting. Oh, you have so much health. Just whacking away. Why do you have so much health? Can I get a crit, please? Can I get a crit, please? No. The problem with that's the that's the thing they told us about earlier, right? Is if you continuously use the same attack over and over again, you're gonna take a penalty for it. Which, hey, you know what? Fine. That's- that's acceptable. I- I can work with that. There we go! Eat their siphon. Oh, did he just heal himself? I swear to the all-gods. I should over attention one of these times. There we go, that took him out. Everyone leveled up. Damn it, you stupid piece of junk! Its ether conversion efficiency was not at all bad. But it looks like its calculations were just not good enough. Not good enough! Don't screw with me. Don't screw with me! I haven't lost! I'm still in the game! Isn't that right, Zeus? <laughs> awesome! This is Zeus's answer! Color warning. What the hell? This thing's conversion core just. Its core must be responding to the feelings of hatred. Watch out! And now we're in the planet tree? Whoa, whoa, where are we? What the heck just happened? I am unable to pinpoint our coordinates. The phenomenon earlier must have had some effect. Estelante? So the legends were true? That means... Hey, wait, don't just run off! Tell me what the heck is going on! Well, we've entered a we've basically entered inside the planet tree. And with that, the
that was the end of this episode. So next time we're going to continue exploring the planet tree and hopefully not run into that many more boss fights like we did this episode. But thank you all so much for watching this episode of Planet Machia, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.